So I really was trying to avoid the surgery, and that's when somehow I, I ended up finding Jen's group. I was so happy, and so I just started following the group and posting questions and talking to other people in the group mm -hmm. and to you. Um, I'm lucky enough that I am local here, and I was able to find Dr. Harding. By the time I went in to see Dr. Harding, it had grown to six, six and a half centimeters. Oh my goodness. I had forgotten it was that big. Yes, it was. Wow. And just a little part of mine was below the clavicle. So he was able to treat 90% of it. I went back for my follow-up with Dr. Hardy. He said, well, I hate to say this, but things look a little suspicious. The portion that he couldn't treat had moved up. Oh, and he could see and it. And now he could see it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. obvious. And I just have a little concern about it. He did an FNA. It came back undeterminable. He said, well, we could just wait mm -hmm. another six months, do another FNA. I said, okay, I'm willing to wait six months, but when I come back, I want a core biopsy. They take a little, just a little bit of tissue. They really can determine whether or not it's Isn't benign. Isn't there a molecular test also? Yes. I think thyroseq and a yeah. firma. Yeah. I actually witnessed him do three core biopsies today. And it's a little bit more involved than a FNA. Well, lucky for me, an FNA has never really bothered me mm -hmm. all that much. Really? I didn't feel any more pain. That's great. Yeah, it was no different. Mm -hmm. And that came back benign. So then I knew for sure. That's great. Yes. Then he said, okay, now you can just follow up in another year. Just make sure that's not growing. Mm -hmm. It will be two years at the end of this month. The end of March 2020. So I was lucky to get in because it was yes. right during COVID. everything yes. with COVID and I had my appointment set with Dr. Harding mm -hmm. and I was just like, please God, please mm -hmm. just let me be able to get in and get this done. I don't mm. want to have it canceled. That's I had been laid off, uh, had this already oh scheduled. Goodness. Still was willing to pay the six thousand dollars it was going to cost because I just did not want to have my thyroid mm -hmm. removed. And luckily, I was still able to get in. And, I'm really and grateful have it he's done. here, and he's you know, wish more people knew. And he's yeah, really sure. passionate about it. I mean, have yes, you have you yeah. ever been to his website? His mission statement is like, we want to prevent unnecessary thyroid surgery, and he's a surgeon. <laughs> and he, he, he actually.